are driving in the car going to Costco it's grocery day so we're gonna take you guys along with us and today is a big Costco grocery haul um, because we are getting low on pretty much everything that we buy in bulk so we will be showing you all of the stuff that we're getting um, we need blueberries and I actually think we should get strawberries too I didn't put that on the list but I think we are getting low on those too yeah, today's more of like a what our typical grocery uh, list looks like like I know we've shown in the past getting like treats and different kind of stuff today we need to stock up on the the basics right yeah on the stuff that we eat every day yeah. so you're gonna see us get like um, really low on cocoa powder and we use that a lot in our protein shakes and to flavor um, certain clean items like yogurt cottage cheese that kind of stuff so you'll see we're gonna get cocoa powder we got to get frozen berries we buy frozen berries because it's a lot cheaper um, it's a lot more cost efficient when you are built bodybuilding on a budget or meal planning on a budget or whatever you want to call it um, if you buy fresh berries they're really expensive right now especially because it's winter and there's a lot of stuff that's not in season and we generally can never get through them fast enough they go uh, they, exactly. you know, they go bad before we can get through yeah they go bad um, because we don't eat a whole lot of fruit because our bodies um, they don't really get a lot of results quickly if we eat a lot of fruit so um, we don't eat too much fruit and having it frozen they do, it doesn't go bad we pay about eleven dollars for a huge bag and we both eat from it every day and it lasts us a, a few months so it's it's quite a good deal and it really saves us money and it makes the most sense and all we do is if we want them sometimes I eat them frozen in my yogurt and it tastes really good and other times I thaw them out the night before or Kyle defrost his in the microwave so um, and it tastes good anyway that you eat them so yep we're gonna see us get those things and then after the Costco um, visit shopping visit we are going to go to Walmart for the rest of our shopping so when we get home we'll show you everything that we got see you in a little bit yep hi friends um sorry I was checking to see if I cut my head off in the camera <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we are out of Costco and we got everything that we needed uh, I forgot we needed oats we we're getting low on those so you guys will actually see pretty much everything we eat during the week um, just we had tons of protein powder at home so we didn't need that um, but yeah we needed oats and we have to go get fiber one at Walmart because they don't carry it at Costco in bulk um, which is unfortunate but yeah we gotta go get fiber one we got our spread of grain bread and speaking of carbs we've been getting a lot of questions lately about how many carbs that we eat and and why we eat you know a, the certain amount of carbs that we eat and, and a lot and, of people insinuating that carbs are evil yes and and also asking like kind of saying like aren't you eating too many carbs and like um, why do you eat that type of carb so um, we'll try to answer some the to the best of our ability um, first of all are carbs bad absolutely not um, you need carbs carbs give you the energy you need to do everything you do in a day and depending on how much you do how um, you know how laborious your job is whether you have a desk job or whether you have a job where you're on your feet all day um, how hard you train how hard um, if you work out if you do a lot of cardio if you want to think or not because carbs <laughs> You need a certain amount of carbs for your brain to function properly, not yes. just physical exercise. Your brain function, you need carbohydrates. He's right. If you're low on carbs, you will have a very hard time thinking. You'll make a lot of silly mistakes. Um, and we know because we've been there. We, 
we went to, you know, extremes and we've eaten way too much and way too little. Um, we've under eaten to the point where we feel dizzy and then realize, okay, we're eating way too little carbs for the amount of work that we're doing in a day. And I was getting really foggy headed during the day and I wasn't really able to think properly. I didn't feel like myself. So carbs are actually very important. And you know, through our, sorry to cut you off, but through our entire weight loss journey, the times that we've had the most success, we've eaten bread, wraps, carbs, rice, potatoes, all the way through the times that we had the most success with weight loss. Yes. Now, you can eat too many carbs, but this is where, why we always stress measuring and figuring out what works for your body. You have to there's no set amount of carbs for each person. Every person's body handles and tolerates carbs completely differently. Um, Kyle and I are carb sensitive or insulin resistant or whatever you want to put it. Um, you know, everyone says the, it differently, but our bodies do not accept carbs very well. However, we are just starting to figure out how many carbs we can take in that is acceptable for our bodies, especially doing the amount of work that we do with our bodies. We work out and train really hard, so we need to take in a lot more carbs than someone who maybe just does 20 minutes of walking each day. And that's all, it's you always know? changing, because I know people are gonna say now like, well, you're figuring out your carbs, so how much is it? There is no set amount the, the, because on an off day, our carbs are a lot lower. On an off day, our carbs are, you know, half to a third of what we're taking in on a high carb day. And even on a training you know? day, if, if my carbs, if I set it out to be 200 carbs, for example, if I'm feeling sluggish and no energy, it, I need more carbs. It could be later in the week. I could be, you know, I could be needing more, or it could be at the beginning of the week, just after treat day, when I need. Even though I'm supposed to have this amount of carbs, I, I, my body actually needs less because it's just coming off a treat day. You know. Exactly. Um, there is no set amount, basically. No, there's no set amount, and even if we gave you the amount of carbs that we eat, it's not going to work for you because your completely different person your body tolerates stuff differently than ours will you have a completely different job than we do you um, work out differently than we do we don't know how much water you drink we don't know how much cardio you do we don't know how how good you sleep we don't know your stress levels it also depends on how much you weigh how much muscle you have um, there are so many factors for what the right amount of carbs is for a person which is why we don't give you an answer because there isn't an answer you have to you really it really truly is about finding out what works for your body there's always guidelines and there is, um, we, you know there but is an answer we would just have to do a lot more like one-on-one -on -one we would have to know with a person, yes right? a like, lot more about you and um, you know down the road we will start offering a service like that online meal plans, online, online meal online plans um, so eventually down the road we will make that available for you guys so that you know we can customize a meal plan for you um, and we will let you know when that's available it's we're not ready for that just yet but down the road we will um, so really you know Anyone, you can go online anywhere and find macro counters uh, that help you figure out how much you need. Those are just general guidelines. Um, you can use that as a base, but you're gonna need to tweak it. You're gonna need to go up or down in the calories and macros that it gives you according to your body, your activity level, all the reasons that we've just given you. Um, so don't focus so much on the carbs, but focus on um, a balanced eating plan throughout the day. And you know, my guidelines would be how we started is eat whole grain instead of white, 
measure your food, follow the serving sizes on the backs of bags and boxes and stuff like that. Um, and as for our carbs, starches, yes, they are starches, um, but there are complex carbs and there are simple carbs or like fast acting carbs. Your complex carbs are the ones that Kyle and I eat six days a week and on our cheat days we eat simple ones or fast acting that's carbs. That's another really good point. It, just to, to focus on getting your carb, the gr number of grams of carbs, you're missing the point too because I could eat my grams of carbs in Twinkies or in oatmeal and they're both completely different, right? So Yeah, like for example, um, there's like an example online where I think like a Big Mac combo equals the same amount of macros as like a meal of a certain amount of sweet potatoes, chicken and, and broccoli or something. Something along those lines. They're both very similar in macros, but one is obviously way more nutritious and will get you further in achieving your goals as opposed to the Big Mac combo. Um, so, you know, you need to watch Obviously, when you're taking in carbs, say you're supposed to take in 75 grams of carbs, you know, you do need to choose what types of carbs you're taking in there if you're looking difference. to lose weight. Yeah. We eat sweet potatoes, brown rice, um, we eat the oatmeal, oat, rice cakes. oats, rice cakes, that brown rice cakes. Um, we don't eat white. Um, grains unless it's cheat day again um, because the complex carbs are slower digesting carbs and those ones help will help to fuel your muscles help you recover and we they want, give you energy we want the most bang for our buck because we're carb sensitive we want to take in the carb like an oatmeal that's going to give us energy for the longest amount of time possible and it keeps there's nothing, you full. There's, yeah, exactly. There's nothing wrong with white bread. We're not. There's nothing wrong with the white carbs. No. But for us, we only take in a certain amount, so that carb has got to last us for hours. We because if I take a piece of white bread and eat it, yeah, I'm gonna get energy. Yeah, it's gonna hit my macros, but that energy is gonna be gone, and I'm gonna crash, and I might not have enough energy to go through my day or for the workout. Whereas a sweet potato carb is way different, right? Exactly, and. There's even a difference like between white potatoes, red potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are the like lowest at, uh, glycemic level wise, and they digest the slowest. They're, um, they're really good for you, and they keep you full, and they fuel your workouts. Um, white potatoes, they're still good for you, I, but they digest a lot quicker. They won't keep you as full. Um, and red potatoes are somewhere in the middle. They're a bit better. They digest a little bit slower, but they're still not sweet potatoes. And there's like, there's a time and a place for fast acting carbs, right? Like yes. fa fast digesting carbs, like around right after, your workout, right after your workout, you need to replenish fast. So you might take in some, um, faster, uh, digesting carbs at that time exactly but this is like the point this is why we're gonna offer this service down the line so that is we because can... when you're that when you're in good enough shape to where down to the carb the gram it matters the amount then that's where you need like special like one-on-one -on -one coaching and stuff yes but when you're trying to lose the the first amount of weight and you 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 have a lot to lose you don't need to be as picky don't be so focused on numbers and that goes for scale numbers carb numbers calories calorie numbers don't don't get so caught up on the numbers when you're just starting out the most important thing when you're first starting out is to make small changes because small changes will um you'll have more of a chance of them lasting longer. If you make too big of a change too fast or you focus on carbs or calories, you're gonna set yourself up for failure. So set yourself up for success by don't 
really keep too much track of your calories just portion out your food um, if you're if you are buying like processed food or you're buying bread or whatever follow the serving sizes on the backs of the boxes for start for a starter like I suggested earlier in this video um, and you know small changes like drink diet pop instead of full sugar pop Dr um, eat whole grain instead of white eat portion sizes um, you know don't just eyeball it make sure you're actually weighing and measuring your food that is one thing that Kyle and I always always do is measure out our food unless of course it is cheat day I'm sorry the camera is moving around a lot guys we did a shoulder workout at, um, yesterday and my shoulders are on fire so I have to keep adjusting the camera <laughs> Yeah, um, so that's our little car brand for today. Yes, so hopefully that answered some of your questions. Um, again, don't focus so much on the carbs and like the carbs that we eat are the ones that help us fuel our workouts and there's a purpose for them. We don't just eat carbs because, well, yeah, we love food. We're always hungry. We like to eat. We love carbs, but when we eat carbs there's a purpose for them and the amounts that we eat there's a reason for the amount that we're eating so when you're questioning why we're eating what we're eating we know exactly what we need to fuel our bodies now we've learned what we need we know how we need to build muscle we know what we need we know the types of carbs we need so um, when you're seeing us eating eating certain things it's because there's a purpose um, and eventually when you get the hang of it too, you'll start knowing your body and knowing what you need to eat and why you need to eat it and how much you need to eat of it. But again, don't start there. That's not how we started. We started very, very slow with slow, small changes. It depends where you're at. Yeah. So I'm going to give my arm a rest now. We're and on our way to Wally World. Yeah. We'll see you in a little bit, guys. We are out of Walmart now. It is six o'clock and we're on our way home to eat and it it's a low carb day. Wednesdays are our off days because it's grocery day and by the end of the day when you are low on carbs you're tired and hungry and cranky and you don't have patience for people shopping or driving <laughs> or standing in the middle of aisles in the grocery store um, so we are done with people and groceries and low carb day and we're going home to eat um, our dinner which of course has no carbs in it so <laughs> we're not really happy people right now <laughs> even though I'm laughing um, I don't mind our dinner it's tuna and veggies but definitely in need of carbs so I'll be happy to work out tomorrow so that I can have carbs and we loaded up on it we got everything we needed and uh, we're headed home now so we'll show you the haul when we get home yep it's just a uh, it seems like it's an extra chore on this day when you, you don't have, well, we choose to eat low carbs, but it's still a chore. <laughs> yeah, it, everything, when you don't have a lot of carbs in your system, everything seems just a bit tougher, and your patience is just a, well, mine's a, a lot lower than it normally is. It's a little short. Yeah, it's also very, um, it's more than middle of the week for us, technically, because we started um, Sunday eating clean again, um, and we've moved our treat day to Saturdays now. So we have to get used to one extra day of waiting for a treat. Um, so it's just it's just the part of the week for us that starts getting a little bit tricky, where your glycogen levels are going down, and you're starting to feel a bit worn out. And that's how you know treat day is necessary and is coming. So, um, yep, we're halfway home and we'll show you what we got when we get home. Yeah. Bye, guys. So, we were just talking about how we we're gonna go home and put our groceries away and eat dinner. And then um, 
we will not be doing anything. <laughs> normally, be relaxing. Normally we do work or whatever we need to do, chores, whatever, um, before we relax. But today we do not have enough energy to do anything. We're looking so. forward to becoming one with the couch. Yes. And we were talking about what we were going to watch. Um, we always like take turns. Last night was Kyle's turn. Tonight was my turn. And I was thinking we have been watching Hannibal on Netflix. The TV series. It's a yeah. TV series. And the first, there, there's three seasons. And the first two seasons were awesome. They had great acting, great characters. The story was, the stories were written awesome. Um, the storylines were really original, like stuff that you've never seen before. Um, like there's, um, it's about, some of it is about serial killers and the, the serial killers that they have are crazy. very original and crazy and I definitely recommend you watching it, but the third season is very slow. Very I, slow. I still, we still want to watch it to see what happens because apparently, um, it, it finishes the story and it it kind of makes it complete for you we've heard the first two seasons amazing like it, yeah if you guys have netflix it's on netflix uh check it out like the first two seasons we were watching them back to back to back to back like it's one of those shows at the start where you finish one and you you gotta see the next one we did we watched the first season in in like a couple weeks we watched we watched it so fast that was like when we watched dexter yeah we would watch an entire season in like two weeks yeah if you guys are <laughs> fans of like a show like dexter or like uh i guess it's most similar to dexter yeah i would say but yeah if you dexter. like that kind of show you'll definitely like hannibal but yeah the start of the third season it like grinds to a halt it's so weird yeah, there's still like a couple good characters in it, but it's not the same. It's pretty slow and the first episode I really didn't like. It was really, really slow and I didn't feel it was necessary. Um, but, and I don't, I think you felt the same. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. We, a, it seems like the third season was like... Kind of like know. an afterthought almost. Or like, maybe like a cash grab or like it could have and probably should have ended the second this, after season. the second season because it was great. The ending of the second season was amazing and it, it really should have ended there. It seems like it, there's a lot of filler in the third season. Yeah, like, but I mean I still want to watch it to see what happens. It's just really slow and I don't know if I can tolerate the slow tonight. Might have to think of something else to We might watch. be asleep if it's uh, that slow. Yeah, and you know that not might not be a bad thing either to have a nap. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys back at the house. We're back. <laughs> We're back at home with the grocery haul. Okay, so um, we usually get some diet pop because that helps us get through the week eating clean yep this week um we chose caffeine free diet pepsi we always choose like a non-caffeine and then a caffeine one hank is choking from drinking water <laughs> he sometimes does that he's weird um and diet dr pepper we got our fat-free plain greek yogurt from costco our cashew milk the unsweetened Thank um, you, mine, buddy. He gets a little excited when we come home. Uh, we have four 1% cottage cheese. We've got our tuna, eight cans, um, some flavoring. <laughs> Hank, you're so silly. Coconut and maple. We like to use those to flavor our protein shakes and our oatmeal. We were running low on cocoa powder. And our quick oats, those are both from Costco. Yeah, you get two big massive bags in there. It's a really good deal for like nine bucks or something. Our bag of frozen strawberries and then frozen blueberries. We got our spinach that we put in our protein shakes, our fiber one that we put in our yogurt. Plain rice old cakes. rice cakes. Uh, more spinach. Cucumbers, carrots, our sprouted grain bread that we got from Costco, some frozen broccoli. We already have a lot of it in the freezer, so we just needed one bag. Instant brown rice, and for treat day breakfast, 
some Aunt Jemima pancakes here. Vanilla, low sugar syrup. Um, we were running low on mustard. We put it in our tuna. Um, and there's more tuna and egg whites back here. Um, that is our grocery haul. And um, I don't know if we mentioned this before, but Kyle and I often don't follow traditions. And I got you a surprise that you didn't know. Oh, I didn't even know. And you didn't even know. Who would have guessed? We were, it's only a month early. We always do things early. And since we were a little cranky, I was sneaky. And when Kyle wasn't looking, I bought him I bought him some Reese's Valentine Reese's oh, Pieces. Oh, yeah. Thank some you. Some heart and some mini eggs. Sweet. Those are so good. So there's some. They've already got the Easter stuff out at the grocery store. Fancy store. treats. That's awesome. Thank you. And yes, of course, it's Valentine's Day now because we never give each other stuff on the right day because who wants to wait? Who goes by dates? No, we don't wait. <laughs> we gave each other a Christmas present in October. <laughs> <laughs> So that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, remember this. Don't forget to like and subscribe or else you will receive. <laughs> uh, have a good day. Bye, See you guys. Later.